Welcome to the tutorial video for calculus. So in this episode, we are going to solve some examples on differentiation. And we are to find the derivative of the following equations. So from A to C, we are going to solve for the derivatives. And our first example is saying x squared plus y squared should be equal to 60. So this we have an equation involving an x and y and we are going to differentiate. So this is an implicit differentiation. So right away we will apply the derivative to the terms. So first we are going to have the x squared on what dx plus the y squared on dx should be equal to 60 on dx and here the first part if we differentiate x squared with respect to x that is going to give us a 2x plus differentiating a y squared with respect to x that is going to give us a 2y but since we are differentiating with respect to x and it is y we are going to add another derivative to it we get it all right so this is going to be equal to the derivative of a constant and that is going to be what zero so from here we can say our 2y dy on dx so if you don't get y we are adding the dy to the dx you can check out for the implicit differentiation and you will understand that so this is going to be negative 2x and if we divide both sides by 2y on 2y, then we are going to have our dy on the x is going to be equal to negative 2x on 2y, which is equal to, so this can take that, leaving us negative x on y. Are we okay? So this will be our derivative for the function to be dx dy should be negative x on y this way now let's look at the second part which says b we have cos x squared plus sine y cube equal to 28 so this is also again a function involving x and y and we are going to apply the derivative to cos x squared yes plus cos of y cube on the x should be equal to we apply derivative to the 28 now if we are differentiating or differentiating a function which is cos x squared with respect to x that is going to give us a function of what first we differentiate the inner part the x squared which is going to be 2x and the derivative of course is going to be negative sine that is x squared right since it is x to x there is no derivative added plus now if we differentiate a sine y cube first differentiating this part to give us 3y squared right and if we differentiate sine that is going to be cos y Q should be equal to the derivative of a constant that is going to be zero so here this is going to be negative 2x sine x squared plus so we are going to add our derivative to this part since we were differentiating with respect to y plus we have 3y squared cos y so the y on what the x is equal to zero so what we have to do here is we have to make sure the dy dx is standing on its own so what we are going to do is take this part to the right hand side of the equation so here we are going to have 3y squared plus y cubed dy on dx so this is multiplication 
should be equal to that was negative so this is going to be positive 2x sine x squared what can we do we can divide both sides by 3y squared cos y cube everything on 3y squared cos y cube so this can take that away leaving our dy on the x should be equal to 2x sine x squared on 3y squared cos y cube so this is the derivative of the function that we had this is the answer now the c is also very simple we have y to be equal to 2x cube minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 and we have to find the derivative of that so simply we are going to apply derivative to all side of the y and that will be derivative of 2x cube dx minus derivative of 2x squared dx minus derivative of 3x dx plus derivative of 1 dx this part is just going to be dy on dx should be equal to now when you differentiate 2s cubed using the power rule meaning 3 is going to multiply the 2 that is going to be 6x you reduce the power by 1 square minus the same thing 2 is going to multiply 2 which is 4 reduce the power by 1 x1 here that is going to be minus 3 and the derivative of a constant here will be 1 plus 0 therefore we can say our derivative dx is going to be 6x squared plus minus 4x plus minus 3 or 6x squared minus 4x minus 3 and we are good to go are we okay so the derivative for our answer our questions which says s squared plus y squared should be equal to 60 is giving us we have an answer to be negative x on y which is our y on dx for the first question and the second question which says cos x squared plus sine y cubed equal to 28 we have our derivative dy on dx to be equal to we have an answer as 2x sine x squared everything on 3y squared cos y cubed and the last part is also giving us the answer this for it's quite simple thank you for watching this episode this is the first tutorial set check out for the next set please subscribe to the channel and see you